welcome to another uh, class tutorial of electronic circuit and design and today we are going to trace the frequency response of common source field effect transistor based on amplify mod and for this purpose we will be using the some few theoretical formulations and we will be using those calculations to verify our simulation results okay for that purpose we will have to use the software LT5 and in LT5 you need uh, to fetch the FET that is uh, being presented as 2N3819 model and uh, you can also use the for the comparison purpose SAM41 operation amplifying circuit that is DJT uh, amplifier based circuit and we will also try our best to compare the results uh, using the uh, low frequency response for the field effect transistor and as well as the DJT uh, amplifying circuit okay okay uh, this one is the basic circuit diagram that has been presented in your lab manual uh, for the FET based uh, amplifying circuit and uh, we can easily fetch these components by uh, moving into the edit toolbar and uh, you can uh, directly fetch the resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, whatever you like and the sources uh, for that purpose you need to move into the component section uh, okay uh, for the FET you need to write NGF and J E and J F NGF and when you do that you will be able to get this uh, component directly over here you can place it anywhere wherever you like so in order to fetch the properties you need to right click on the transistor and uh, pick the new JFET model so here is the generic model uh, the manufacturer are the Vishay 2N3819 by just uh, doing the double click over here you will get the desired model okay Now I need to fetch the source, voltage source for this purpose. I just move into the component library and mention the voltage it's over here and just place it in the desired location. Uh, okay. Since amplification is done using the AC signal, so I will have to convert my generic voltage source into the sine wave. Uh, with zero DC voltage offset the amplitude is one millivolt and let's say the frequency is about 50 Hertz by default there is an input uh, impedance which is R2 1 mega ohm 1000 to 1000 and uh, the capacitance which are the C1 and the uh, input side capacitance C2 is the output side and C3 is the bypass capacitor these three capacitors as already we discussed in the previous uh, uh, tutorials that uh, these are responsible to decide the lower cutoff frequency and on the behalf of these mm, uh, capacitor value you will be easily able to realize the, uh, the basic uh, low frequency response that will be able to be controlled by changing the values of the capacitors okay now let us begin the analysis from the transient side for this purpose let's see what is being mentioned in the manual it says that you need to fetch the n channel based FET from the component library using the NGF that we have already done you need to drag the components so as shown in this figure number one and uh, you need to place the values that are being exactly being mentioned in this diagram okay now set the input voltage source to 1 millivolt and 200 hertz frequency trace the transient response and demonstrate the output and input voltages okay now this is my voltage source and let's move into it there's an amplitude 1 millivolt okay for the scope let's say it's an AC of one milli as well 
and here it states that you need to place the 200 hertz frequency and press ok and let's do the transient response for that purpose we need to move into the edit simulation command say the transient let's say we need to simulate it till the 0 0.5 seconds okay let's press ok and place this tran somewhere over here okay now we need to run the circuit so since uh, the 1.5 second is uh, uh, too much long for in order to clearly state this uh, graph so let us just decrease the value of uh, uh, the stop time of the transient so let's say it's uh, easily 50 milliseconds 50 millisecond is quite enough to realize this all okay now that is much more better view of this whole circuit okay this one is a vn3 let's uh, delete this cursor to verify which graph it was actually so this is the output and this one is the input node let's see this one is input we set the value at 1 millivolt with 200 hertz frequency and uh, this is the output side let's see now it seems that our signal is amplified from uh, 1 millivolt to 2.5 mil millivolt at 200 input frequency so uh, we can also uh, clearly find out the value of the gain by dividing the output voltage to the input voltage so this is a 2.5 millivolt with the output amplitude and uh, the 1 millivolt with the input so the gain will be output divided by the input so it is clearly seen that the gain of this FET is at this point is 2.5 Alright, uh, now let's move ahead and uh, in the point 5 it says you need to perform the AC sweep analysis starting from 1 hertz to several gigahertz by setting the curve to decade instead of uh, decade. So I think there is a, mm, uh, a little bit mistake, you need to just change this word, uh, you need to set your graph into the decade instead of linear linear graph was actually illustrated in the previous okay now according to the instructions let's move towards the edit simulation command and move to the AC analysis this is a type of sweep as it has been stated you need to perform the decade instead of linear and the number of uh, points should be 1000 for much more clarity starting frequency is 1 hertz and uh, for the gigahertz uh, you can say that uh, the power of uh, giga is actually Okay, now next uh, we need to find out the lower cutoff frequency for this circuit. Now, for that purpose, let us review uh, this lecture uh, ECD7 uh, in which we were actually finding out the lower cutoff frequency for FET amplifier. This is the generic circuit of your uh, FET based amplification circuit in which there are uh, the input resistance is defined by the combination of this uh, external gate resistance as well as the intrinsic internal gate resistance of a zone okay now if you compare this circuit with your simulation uh, that is defined over here now you've been known to this value that is the rg which is one mega but you are not aware what is the internal gate resistance of this uh, of this fet okay in the lecture it was uh, mentioned that uh, these are the parameters that are defined inside the 
uh, inside your data sheet for that purpose you need to download the data sheet of uh, 2 and 3819 FTT okay now let's check uh, the internal uh, gate resistance of your FTT through that uh, data sheet okay this is the uh, the Matamic is the uh, manufacturer of this uh, data sheet in which it says that it's an N channel JFTT and the summary of this product is given by the gate to source voltage that in which the your device will be off is less than minus 8 volts and this is the gate to source saturation point with the minimum voltage of minus 25 volt and uh, similarly the drain to source uh, the minimum current in is about 2 milliampere okay okay now what are the benefits it says that it has a wide band high gain in this uh, tutorial we will also be able to calculate the total bandwidth of our FET amplifying circuit it has a very high system sensitivity it has high quality of amplification just imagine that if we are going to develop the amplifying circuit for the audionic based uh, sound system and if we use this kind of uh, uh, the transistor the output gain as well as the clarity of the, your sound will be very much uh, great okay it has high speed switching capability and uh, a high low level signal amplification okay uh, what are the further applications in which this sort of the transistor can be uh, used is that it has used in the high frequency amplifying mixers in the oscillators sample and hold this one is the benefit of digital control uh, system okay and uh, in the applications where the very low capacitance switches are being required okay what are the features of this uh, uh, circuit that means what are the features of this FTT is that it has excellent high frequency gain with a GPS of 11 decibel at 400 megahertz it has very low noise and uh, that is the 3 dB at 400 megahertz very low distortion it has high AC to DC switch of isolation property and a high voltage gain of 60 at 100 micro ampere okay that means these features are very much good and also keep in mind that FET is a voltage control device unlike the BJT these devices were controlled by the current when you actually provide the current at the base however in FET you actually supply the voltage at the gate okay now this page demonstrates the specification of your device uh, now it actually tells you the the parameters are gate to source based on voltage, gate to source cutoff voltage, saturation and gate reverse and all the symbols as well as the testing conditions are being specified in this table. Okay, now how we can calculate the total uh, input gate resistance. Now uh, according to your lecture it states that the, the modulus of the VGS divided by IGSS that means the gate to source current in saturation region. Okay, and this one is the voltage that is applied at the gate to source and keep in mind that this uh, Rn is actually a linear resistance so you need to determine the values from the linear region instead of going into the saturation okay okay now this one is the gate reverse current uh, and the IGSS and uh, this is the gate to source uh, current in the saturation uh, inside that was applied and obtained when the VGS was actually minus 15 volt keeping the drain to source equal to zero okay and uh, it states that the maximum current IGSS is uh, it's a reverse side current that is maximum 2 nano ampere okay since it is reverse that means the current polarity is negative you can now easily divide the 15 divided by and take the mod which will give you the positive value of the uh, re input resistance that is the gate input resistance of only FET okay and when you do that you actually obtain the value uh, by dividing it as 750 mega ohms okay okay now if you do that now if you do uh, obtain the value of uh, input resistance of this FET 
that is 750 mega ohm and you will realize that this uh, resistance will be in parallel to that of the external gate connected resistance which is 1 mega so by using this uh, equation that is being mentioned in your lecture that the total input resistance is actually equal to the co parallel combination of external gate and the internal gate resistance uh, if you find that thing you will obtain the value of 0 0.99 mega ohms that is actually equals to 1 mega ohm okay now if you now evaluate the value of this input resistance you can easily fetch the data into uh, this equation to find out this uh, lower cutoff frequency for your uh, FET based common source amplifier now the two pi are the constant R in is now 1 mega ohm and C1 from our circuit is actually 0 0.01 micro farad and when you do that you will be able to find out the value to be 15.92 hertz approximately equal to 16 hertz which is the lower cutoff frequency of your presented circuit so this was the one first task okay since you have evaluated this let's see what is the gain of your uh, system at this low cutoff frequency that was approximately 16 uh, something over here 16.7 16 16.32 16 and 16.03 okay the magnitude is approximate 266 millivolts fine and uh, this is the low cutoff frequency now in the next task you have been asked to find out the uh, frequency at 3 dB that means at 3 decibel uh, the overall system is capable to transfer only 70% of your the voltage toward the output side now that means that if you have a voltage of about 4.58 4.58 uh, voltage gain that is the maximum so what will be the uh, 3 dB loss that means uh, if I have said that so only 70% of the voltage being uh, transmitted to the output side so we can easily do that by using the second cursor and uh, we will displace it to the 3 dB uh, for before that 3 dB what is the 70 percent of 4.5 now if I calculate this uh, 70 percent uh, gain to be uh, transmitted at the output side uh, the 70 percent of 4.58 volt is actually 3.2 that means if I convert that unit into the decibel it will be equivalent to that of 3 dB minus 3 dB okay uh, if I move my cursor uh, toward the low side uh, you can easily see that the 4.04 volt and let's make it equal to that of 3.2 3 3.2 over here is 3.268 so that means this is the point where the frequency is 319.6 hertz and uh, at this frequency this is the uh, point where the, the loss will be equal to that of 3 dB now let's just convert this vertical axis into the decibel ok let's realize that uh, uh, ok at the difference is about minus 2.9 that is approximately equal to that of 3 dB so that means that uh, this is our desired value 